All right, so we're going to start off this week with an explicit just to um, prepare you slightly for the A4 uh, formative before the summative as usual. We're going to do an explicit. We're going to show you how these, uh, the ADL skills that were chosen can be also applicable elsewhere. So we're going to start with our research. We're going to communicate information idea and ideas effectively to multiple audiences using a variety of media and formats. So you're gonna find this very engaging and interesting. We're going to create um like very short advertisements where we want to communicate our ideas, uh, um, uh, our ideas to a multiple of audience and also a variety of age groups. So some of you will have, let's say, a group will be asked to create a perfume. Another group will be asked to create um, perhaps a chocolate for uh, and your target audience will be grade two students. So we're going to practice on your ability to communicate information and ideas effectively. Our second ATL or or explicit lesson will focus on gathering and organizing relevant information to formulate an argument. So you might have a very short debate here where you're going, where I'm going to give you a topic and you need to organize your opinions and ideas effectively in order to produce an effective argument and try to persuade me to align to your perspective. And then slowly, we're going to start with the formative. So obviously, as you already know, I cannot introduce the formative without showing you the TSR because the TSR focuses on the requirements. So we're going to look at the TSR very well, discuss what is required of you, how to achieve a seven to eight. And you should never look at the TSR uh, and focus on how to get three to four. No, everyone's aim should be a seven to eight. Okay. Our second class, formative class, is when you actually start to create a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, comparing and contrasting the two myths, the creation of Pandora and Narcissus. Don't ask me now. From now, this is going to be the answer. Miss, uh, you're going to ask me, Miss, can we use um, other uh, uh, presentational tools? And my answer is going to be definitely. You may, as long as it is clear and you, feel, and you apply the steps that are required of you. As you can scroll down, you can find what are these steps, okay? Slide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so make sure you review them very well. And when you scroll down, okay, you can click on the self-assessments to make sure that you have good understanding and uh, understanding of both myths. Okay, so one assessment will be about Pandora's box. The other one will be about Narciss and Echo. And we're going to end the week with the beginning of the presentations. So every group must present and follow the structure that was sent by email, or you may refer to the one that is already posted on LMS. They're exactly the same. Whatever you get by email is just a reminder of what you can find on LMS. Make sure you review both. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the formative, please write them down on a piece of paper so that you can ask me in class because everyone could benefit from your question.